Question eight. There are only red, blue, white, and black counters in a bag. A uh, table shows the probability that a counter taken at random from the bag will be red or blue. Things to remember here instantly. All probabilities, if you know all the options, will always add up to one. The number of white counters in the bag is the same as the number of black counters in the bag. Uh, Tanya takes a random counter from the bag. So question A is to work out the probability that she takes a white counter. So we know that all of the probabilities are supposed to add up to 1. And that the two missing numbers are the same. So 0.2 add 0.5 is 0.7 which means that the missing probability is going to be 0 0.3 if they're both the same 0 0.3 divided by 2 is 0.15 and just to help me on the later bit I'm going to write on what that is just in case we have to use it so both of those 0 0.15 all of it adds up to 1 so therefore the probability of choosing a white counter is 0 0.15 Five. Question B. There are 240 counters in the bag. Work out the number of red counters in the bag. Well, the probability of getting red is 0 0.2. Uh, so that's just going to be 240 multiplied by 0 0.2. Now, 0 point, times it by 0 0.1 is just the same as 1 tenth, which is 24. Therefore, not times by 0.2, the answer is going to be 48 red counters.